What's up, my dudes? Welcome back to another No Man's Sky Planet review, and I got a special one for you. I got the Perp Skirt Planet here, so I just happened to come across this planet randomly, and this is the first actual purple looking planet I've ever seen before. If some of you guys have seen probably 10,000 purple planets, then it's not very special to you, but I mean, I've probably been to a total of, I would say, about I don't know, a hundred some odd planets, maybe more like 200, somewhere around there, and I've never seen a planet look purple from the outside. I've just never, ever seen that. So this is going to be a completely new experience for me, but I think that it'll be pretty interesting either way. So we're about 27 seconds out. What the heck is going to be on this planet, dude? I just don't know. We got a planet base detected. And uh, there was this planet I went to in this same solar system. It was one of the most alien worlds I've ever seen in this game before, man. Like, just the vibe it put off. I've, I'd never seen a planet like that before either. But going to the perp skirt planet, dude. <laughs> what the heck? I'm probably getting way too excited. It's probably going to be lame as fuck. I've just never seen one look purple from the outside before. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting my expectations too high. Oh, yeah. You know Man's Sky dudes out there? But, uh, let's see here. So, it's actually not really all that purple. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Come on, Hello Games. What is this shit? It looked like a completely Barney purple planet from the outside. I get down here, there's like three little speckles of purple on the actual planet. What the heck? That they have a little bit of a problem with that. I get maybe I'm you know complaining too much here, but like the, from the outside, this should have looked like a a white planet with a little bit of speckles of purple throughout it. It shouldn't have looked like a full blown purple planet. But uh, let's see. Let's just let's just land. Wow, kind of disappointing. But either way, I'm not gonna look and see what all is here. So it'll be a total surprise. Alrighty then, couple of creatures over here. It's just purple grass. It's not even purple dirt, huh? See, from the outside, I could have swore it was gonna be purple dirt, purple nurple, everything, but apparently not. What the? See, I really like how the small creatures run through the grass. Now they're actually kind of hard to see. Could you imagine if they had the grass where it could be like three times as tall and you couldn't see where anything was? <laughs> on some planets that would be amazing and the mods they have for uh they've got some mod out there on pc where it like completely expands the size of the plants and it makes the planets look three times more alien than they do right now which was cool really cool to me what does this thing even look like can't even get a good look at him Ooh. so okay looks like a little bit of a turtle wolf Let's name him Turtle Turtle Dog Turtle Dug Turtle D Turtle Dug <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. That'll work. We've got this big porcupine blue porcupine looking dude over here. Man, I was expecting a full purple planet. Ugh. Way to crush my dreams, Hello Games. What is this, like, root-looking thing? That is weird. I I don't know if I've ever seen a root like that. Just like a straight-up... Look at that. Is that just, like, glitched in the ground the wrong... Is it, like, upside down or something? Is that why it looks like that? If it's not a glitch, that's really cool. I've never seen a... Never seen it really like that before. Look at this... Dude, oh my god. When he turns around, he looks way more cool. Look at that. Wow. Okay, hello games. I feel your vibe. I have seen the spikes on a creature like that, but as an overall creature, I mean, I'll give this like full points of uh, variation here. Never seen one quite like it. He's running. He may be mean. I never even thought about that. But he, look at that, like, dragon face. I don't know if I've ever seen one quite have that, that face to it. Could you imagine an underwater creature with that face? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That would be creepy. Okay. What does this thing look like? Look at that. That creature's actually really cool. He's like a, we'll call him, like, Draco. <laughs> Hit him with the bug bag. Drake. 
Draco Pine. Draco Pine. Pine. Draco Pine. What's the? Uh, okay. So let's go over here. Oop. Okay. Man, could you imagine how cool this would have been if everything would have just been purple? Like the grass, the dirt. It's still cool, though. Still okay. Electron vapor, gonna need that. Antimatter, yes, sir. That's like crucial stuff to move around anywhere. Okay, let's hop back in the ship. Wherever it is. Wow. What a different planet than I was expecting. I was like... Whenever I first came across this planet like four or five days ago, I'm like, holy shit, it's purple. I'm going to save this for a planet review. It's going to be amazing when I land on it. And I get down here and it's like, uh, yeah, not really what I was expecting. But <laughs> okay, got us a little leaf plant. Uh, wh let's name this root, 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 kind of like, was it blue? I don't know, root. Rutu Nai. Rutu Nai. Rutuni. I don't even know how to say my own names for things. <laughs> uh, we got a little plant. Oh, uh, that's not really a fern. What is that? Like a leaf blade? Uh Green Blade. Green Blades. Uh, Green black, green bladza. Cool. All right, let's get back in the ship ski. See what else we can find. The tunnel blur. Oh, not enough fuel on the launchers. Jesus. Okay. Let's get. We need to find like a big pocket of that purple. There's a little one of those little bases right here, but uh. As far as the overall layout of the planet, it's not really too impressive. <laughs> I mean, it's it's pretty generic, No Man's Sky layout. You know, not really any big mountains, just kind of the the rolling hills. I don't really know any other way to explain that. But as far as like right where the purple grass is, it's sick. But everywhere else, it's just not. <laughs> it's like complete just what I don't even know what color white. White gra the, the rest of the planet is like bland. I mean bland. So it's a quite an interesting mixture between like super bland and then one of the craziest grass colors I've ever seen before in this game. So that's kind of cool. It's got these big bull looking creatures. Okay, we have something that looks like a ram or a goat. I'm guessing he's going to try to ram me. Maybe not. Okay. Let's do a little bit more exploration. I'm not going to make this planet review too long because, I mean, I can already tell there's <laughs> there's not too much to discover here just by the, the layout of it. I was seeing some interesting... Oh, yeah, this thing. Uh, what the... So... Uh, what the hell is this? So we have a plant in a rock... But it looks like it belongs there. And they're two different objects. Look at... See like right here on the top? See how there's like a little... Like it actually looks like the plant belongs there. Is this just a glitch that made this look amazing? Or did they actually make that possible? I don't know. Either way, that's pretty hella cool right there, dude. So, look at this. That ain't what the tree really looks like, but... You know, they had like the rock and the tree in one place. Wow. Huh. I don't know what to think about that. But uh, as far as that one little root thing that was in the ground, that is how all of them are. That wasn't just a glitch. So, that's cool. What is this? Is this just a bush? What is this thing? A red hair bush hair flaming fire crotch? Or what? <laughs> uh, kind of cool though it's a cool planet I mean even though it's a little bit like I guess you could say boring in a sense it's still cool just the the differences of oh sentinel drone okay okay chill out my dude we just trying to explore here gotta kill you though sorry about it get some zinc up off that dude 
So that's something you there's that's not really that deep in this. As I say, deep. Oh my god. Um, that's something that's not really as deep as you might would have thought. Is the actual um, like the wanted system and stuff. It's it's not that. I mean, maybe when you get a lot further through it than it might be, but as far as uh, right now, it's it's really pretty basic. I mean, when there's just one of those dudes after you just kill it and you're good, um, maybe I just haven't seen the full variation of it because I know certain planets can have more sentinels and that kind of thing, but getting way away from the ship, I don't even care at this point. Um, there's bound to be some more creatures. Um, hmm. Don't exactly know. Okay, so now... Now check this out. So over here, now we're getting a combination of the white grass and the purple grass together. So that's a little bit different. Okay. But, st but a cool look, though. I mean, I've definitely never seen a planet look quite like this. Look at the plains, though. Like, I could just walk for days down through here. For absolute days, man. I mean, the what? look how plainsy this is getting. Like, super plains, dude. Far. Far as the eye can see plains up out here. Look at that. Pretty cool view. There is a question mark. Ow, that hurt the bottom of my feet right there, because I can totally feel that. But uh, that tree right there is pretty cool, that little root-looking tree. Never seen something with that style to it, but... See, look at how much more open this is. Um, Okay, this is just one of those little checkpoint things, but... Look at how open, though. Like, over there, it did not seem that open whatsoever. Is this a... What is this little guy? What's a uh, little baby dragon? Little baby lizard? Okay. Is he... Is that... Oh! Thought that thing was coming after me. Yeah, that was definitely just a baby. That thing looks sick. Look at that. Um, Was that... Let me... If I rescan it, I can look over here. So yeah, that's a young age... I want it to be where you can actually find, like, lizards that small. Like, really, really small lizards, and they're not just the baby versions. They're the actual big versions. You know, they got to expand the size of everything. But that that's a cool colored creature. I've never seen that color combination. Pink scale. That's more like a salmon scale. So, salmon. I don't even know how to spell salmon. Isn't it spelled a really weird as fuck way? Uh, sam. Salmon scale. Salmon scale. Skull, Simon scale, scale. I don't know how to spell anything, but it really doesn't matter because you're just naming it however you want to name it, anyways. So, Simon, Simon scale. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's drop down here, right quick. Ski, cargo drop, shielding shard, Gek charm, inventory full, of course. Let's uh. Oh my god, my inventories. Ah! I can't really even use that shielding shard. Why do I have the, like 10 carbon? That was my first issue. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Uh, I can make another one of these, anyways. Free up a little bit of space here. So I, I need Thamium 9 for that. Okay, so this was that woods thing, and I'll show you guys what uh, I usually do on my naming with this. So, like, basically that's Ode Zahal Woods or whatever. Let's just name it, um, Ventraz, 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 yeah, uh, let's see woods so this is kind of what i do with most of these not all of them but most of them if it's like you know says woods or plains or whatever after it i'll try to keep that with the name so uh i'll like change the first part of it but then i'll keep the woods part so it's kind of something uh, a little bit different than probably most people do there but 
A what did I get? Electron vapor? Okay, not too bad. But uh yeah, I said I wasn't gonna make this planet review too long here. So there's a bigger version of that guy. E yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. But uh see just like the valleys and the I don't even know how to say that, but the, when No Man's Sky first came out, I don't know if it's the rendering distance, like maybe it was that way the whole time, I, you just couldn't see it, either way, it doesn't matter, you would have never seen that far, first of all, and you would have never seen like that big of an expanse, uh, kind of difficult to explain it there, but yeah, either way, I would, hmm... I'd give this planet, let's see, so the purple was cool, that one Draco dude was cool, uh, uh like the purple grass combination was okay, uh, that root wad looking thing was okay, that plant in that rock looked really cool to me, mm, it's kind of like right there between a 7 and an 8, uh, I guess I could just give it an 8 because it does look really really cool from the outside <laughs> even though it's somewhat disappointing once you get to it it is cool and uh as far as difficulty no real weather effects creatures are not crazy like i said there's or like i do say there always could be one mean creature that i just haven't seen but as far as your average joe hopping on the planet you're not just going to get romped on by some creatures so um for that fact uh easy difficulty and let's name this planet so it's damp weather relax sentinels we got to name it something that matches the outside though uh perp perp scar perp perpica so i want to let you guys know that i have all of my different playlists on my front page whether it be game specific playlist or series specific playlist so if you're looking for any particular game or particular series that you want to watch i have it all laid out there in a pretty organized manner on my front page there is a link in the description to donate to me if you want to support me and if you can't or you just don't want to i totally understand that's why it's completely optional but i will be listing my top 10 donators at the end of every single future video and I will shout out every new donator at the end of a video even if they're not top 10 and my email address is spencerturley at live.com no space no capital and I do accept sponsorship offers and you guys should also follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, PlayStation Network, Xbox Live, Steam, all that different stuff at Spencer Turley, no space, no capital. So anyways, I appreciate you guys watching the videos. Later, dudes.